Hi fellows! This video was inspired by someone who asked a question on Unreal Engine Marketplace to know if it was possible to easily separate RGB channels from a texture. Turns out that yes, it is possible thanks to Odyssey brushes. Let's see that together. For this exercise, I will be using the asset Meadow Environment Set, which is available on Unreal Engine Marketplace. First of all, I will create a sandbox to test my future brush. So, I create a new texture with a size of 2048 over 2048, which I call a sandbox. Then, I create a new Odyssey brush. By the way, since version 0.5, Odyssey brushes are into the Iliad submenu when you right click in the Cotton Brother. I open with a double click, I add a node Event on Step, and a node Simple Stamp. And I create a first variable Texture 2D, which I name Source. This variable is the very image whose the RGB channels we want to split. Now, let me select a texture among the project. Now, we need a second texture 2D, which I call Stencil. As you probably understood, the second stamp will act like a stencil to limit the application of the first stamp source. But to do so, I need a whole new texture asset. My texture will be 2048 over 2048, but it can be even bigger. It's actually better to have a large stencil rather than a small one, or it will crop the first stamp. I fill it with white, and I save it. Now, let's make these two texture 2D variables work together. First, I need a node Blend. Blend is a very interesting node to mix two different stamps and get great results like a dual brush, for instance. In this case, I will connect Source to Back and Stencil to Top. I connect Blend to Simple Stamp on Sample, and in Simple Stamp, I enter the value 1024 over 1024 pixels, which corresponds to the center of the texture sandbox, which I will open to stamp or brush. You see, it applies the white stencil only. It comes from the fact we did not configure our blend node yet. Let's go back to the Odyssey brush blueprint and look deeper at the blend node. The option X and Y are used to tile the blend between top and back. As an example, if I enter values in X and Y and I compile, you can see the top stamp has moved. However, in today's example, I don't need to tile X and Y, so I clear these values. Opacity will be used to make top stamp more or less transparent. as you can see. But here again, I don't need the result to be transparent, so let's make it opaque again. Now, what I need to change is the blending mode right here. The options there are exactly the same as the options we can see in Iliad interface. In our exercise, I need to use the blending mode multiply to multiply the white stencil with our source stamp. I compile, I test, there, we can see the source through the stencil. Now, what we want to do is to extract RGB channels from our source. To do so, I need to add a node Full Preserve Alpha. Then, I will connect color to my Codice Brush color from RGB. This node will allow me to control which colors I want to apply to affect the texture. If I want to control the RGB from Iliad and not from the blueprint, I must create three booleans, red, green, and blue. Then I will create three nodes, select integer,
I connect each boolean to each node select integer. For each integer, the value a will be 255 and the value b will be 0. Then, I connect fill preserve alpha to top on the node blend and I connect stencil to sample on full preserve alpha. I clean a little bit. I expose the three booleans. I compile. I go back to my sandbox texture. From that point, it means I can make the color of my stencil either black if all booleans are unticked, white if all booleans are ticked, red, green, blue, or a mix between the three channels like yellow and purple accordingly to the options I have ticked. Then the color applied on the stencil will be then multiplied with the color of the source. And if I don't check any channel, my brush gets all black. If I check red, it gets red nuances. If I check green, it gets green nuances. If I check blue, it gets blue nuances. And if I check all of them, the brush is the same at the source. We can also play through layers. I can stamp the red channel on the first layer, the green channel on a second layer, and the blue channel on a third channel. I will use the layer blending mode exclusion for each, and we're back with all source. However, what happens if your source is transparent? You see we get a white background instead of transparency. This can be fixed easily with the blend node in our blueprint. So here is the last option I haven't talked about yet. Alpha mode. Alpha will allow you to manage the alpha channel of your brush, which means the opacity and transparency of existing pixels. In this case, I want to stamp my texture without any white background, so I must use the alpha mode back. This way, only the pixels from the source will be applied. It's a little like a stencil within the stencil. So, if we sum things up, there is a stencil stamp to give a limit to your brush. There is a source stamp whose RGB channels we want to separate, and both will be used into an Odyssey brush. Then there is another texture to stamp the different channels. What if my texture is not 2048 over 2048? What matters is the side of your stencil. It must be either as big as or bigger than the source stamp. So if the source cannot fit into the stencil, you must create a new bigger stencil. Then, when you apply the result of your brush into a sandbox, obviously the sandbox should have the same size as the source image. For this reason, I advise you to create and expose two variables to choose the center of your image. So, I create two float variables, I expose them, and I connect them to x and y with a default value of 1024, and I compile. This way, depending on your source size, you can edit the application center of your brush, instead of going back to the Odyssey brush blueprint every time. To conclude this video, I will give a name to each layer I created previously with a different color channel. Then I go to File, Export Layers as Texture, and for each channel I will get a whole new texture to be used in a material. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. You know the end. Like, share, subscribe, comment, tip us if you can on Patreon. And take care. See you soon. Bye.